right? Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, well, it's good news, isn't it? It's good news that he's died, you know? We don't want men like that. I'm pleased that there's less Charles Mansons in the world. I hope you are as well. Okay, what about what about number three? Does anybody know? Can anybody name for me number three? That's, yeah, you're right. It's Matt C. Dom, yeah. How many people, here's an extra question for you. How many people did Matt C. Tong kill in the millions? What do you reckon? More than Hitler, you're right. He's, he's the biggest serial killer. He killed 47 million people. That's dreadful. What about this horrible man here? What about him? Do we know who that one is? He's one of the most horrible because he pretended to be his Exactly, yeah. And he wasn't, he wasn't a nice man. It's Jimmy Savile, exactly, okay? Do you know who this one here is? Harvey Weinstein. And what I was saying is we'll have many more Harvey Weinsteins if we keep telling people that they're animals. Because he was acting like an animal. What about number five? Do you know who that one is? Yeah, that's it. Myra Hindley. I'm not being PC. I'm sorry. Yeah, exactly. Not good. Not good. Yeah, Myra Hindley and Ian Brady. Now, for those who've just stopped, I've said to you, can you name the six most evil people? Just wait one second, because you'll like this, Billy. Oh, you're busy. I'm just going to say, though, for those who've stopped now, number six, when I reveal number six, People don't like number six so much that I guarantee at least someone will walk off. So everyone just look to your left. Everyone look to your right. Take a mental picture of the five or six people who are here now. I bet at least one person will walk off because you don't like this person. Are you ready for it? But it was said about this person that he was hated without a reason. So when you walk off, just say in your own mind, what is the reason why I don't like this person? I'm going to turn him over now. Let's see if anyone walks off. Oh, man. Sticking, okay. Will you stay for one minute for me to just tell you why I think it's a bit silly that people don't like him? Maybe you don't like him, maybe you've not got an opinion on him. But Jesus, you know Jesus, he was the opposite to all these people. Now this man here, what was Harvey Weinstein known for? He was, oh we've got some people creeping off. He was known for being disrespectful to women. Did you know that when one day there was a lady, she was thrown out in the streets and she was completely naked. These men, they picked up these stones and they said, let's kill her, let's kill her. But Jesus said, he who is without sin cast the first stone. Exactly, he's never done anything wrong. You've got it right. You know, you cast, you throw the first stone. This man here, wicked, wicked man. Jesus said, if you ever abuse a child, it would be better for you that you'd never been born. Yeah, exactly, it's dreadful. But many people say this, I don't know about you, Billy, but many people say, oh, Jimmy Savile, he's got away with it, he's got away with it. Well, I'm glad I believe in a God of justice, because I tell you one thing for free, Jimmy Savile will be suffering for all of eternity in hell. Now, even though people... There's more in the cabinet now, there's more in the cabinet now, isn't there? Yeah, that's... That's it. Exactly, we've got wicked. The wicked, yeah. But even though we might not like Jesus, even though we might not have an opinion on Jesus, I don't know what you young people think of Jesus. Jesus really. He did. He does sometimes. He does. Good. But did you know this, Billy? Did you know this? I, I'm, a, I'm a Christian, but what I'm saying is these six people here are the most hated ever to walk planet Earth. But I'm saying people don't like Jesus, but Jesus was the opposite of all these people. He wasn't a murderer. He said if anyone abuses a child, it'd be better for that man he'd never been born because there'll be hell and things like that. He was against all these different things. But even though we might not like Jesus, Jesus really, really loves us. Pardon, you believe in God? I'll take... I'll tell you why I'm doing it, madam. Do you want me to tell you? There's a little baby in that road over there where the zebra crossing is. What would you do to that baby if you saw it? On its own, on, in the road. Exactly. And I truly believe that uh, we're, you guys in this town centre are like that baby. And I'm warning you today that Jesus can rescue you and he can save you. But if you don't put your trust in him, then there's a place to punish you. Okay, Billy, thank you for your time. Yeah, I'm just trying. I, it just, yeah, I'm just trying to say that you know people hate all these. There's strong reactions to these, but there's strong reactions to Jesus as well. If you if you understand what I'm saying, but I'm really yeah, good, good, that's good. Yeah, I don't believe in that. I'm saying that these are wicked men, and that's great if you believe in Jesus.
And if you put your trust in him, he hung on a cross, he died for you. And if you say sorry for what you've done, you can get to heaven. There's only two types of people that get to heaven. Perfect people and forgiven people. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm not perfect. But I'll tell you one thing for free, I'm forgiven. And if you ask for forgiveness, heaven's yours. I'm it's yours. I'll tell you something. Apart from him, of Thank course. Thank you for stopping. Apart from him, of course, not the sin of the perfect no, there's not, exactly, but Jesus was the perfect one who died for us, and that's the good news. And that's what we're here to tell you today, folks, that Jesus loves you, he hung on a cross for you, he took the punishment for you, so that you can be forgiven. You can pull all the faces you want, but one day, I tell you, I'm telling you for free, you'll face your God, you'll face your Creator, and he'll say to you, why didn't you listen to that cheesy man on the street with the pictures of Harvey Weinstein? You'll say, well, I should have listened to him. But I'm just telling you, out of love, Jesus really loves you. And he wants to have a relationship with you. He wants to be your friend. I'm going to have a stop there. But if anyone wants to take uh, any of the leaflets for free, they're there for yours, absolutely for free. Please take it. Please think these things.